All right, number six, we want to use uh, Descartes' rules of signs to determine how many possible uh, positive and or negative zeros there will be. Okay, so let me point you to this in the textbook. So we're going to go to learn, and um, here it is on page four, okay? Um, here's the rules of signs. We're going to look at the polynomial. So you see we have one term, and then we have plus another term, and then plus. Um, these signs might change. It might be positive, it might be negative. Okay, so what this what this definition is saying is that we're going to look at the polynomial and we're going to count how many times the sign changes. Okay, and however many times the sign changes, um, the number of zeros we have will be that number or the difference of that number and a positive integer. Okay, so we'll subtract an even number from it and it has to be positive. Okay, even. And then the same thing for negative, we have to look at the negative f of x, and the number of negative zeros is going to be the same as that or less by a positive even integer. So let me talk about what that means with this problem. Okay, so I'm looking at this problem, and I'm counting the sign change. So we start out with the positive, it goes to negative. That's 1, changes to positive, that's 2, changes to negative, that's 3. So our sign, okay, for this first function, I'm going to say q of x. Okay, it changed signs three times, okay? Now, so there's possibly three positive zeros, or it says less than that by a positive integer. So a positive even integer, I mean, positive even means two, two, four, six, eight. So I can subtract this, I can subtract two from that, and then I will get one. And if I subtract two from that, I get negative. So we can only have a positive number of zeros. So either three or one, okay, positive zero. And then if we do q of negative x, okay, so I'm going to rewrite this polynomial, replacing all the x's with negative x's, and then seeing how many times the sign changes here. So this is going to be 4 negative x squared plus 16 times negative x, and then minus 64. Okay, so when I evaluate this negative x to the third, it's still going to be negative x cubed. Negative x squared will be positive x, but this negative will be negative 64 x squared. And then this will become negative 16 x, and then minus 64. Okay, so this problem starts out negative, stays negative, stays negative, stays negative. There is no sign changes. So there are zero negative roots. So for real positive, we can either have three or one, uh, three because it changed signs three times. So it started positive, negative, that's one, went back to positive two, went back to negative three, and then or uh, the difference of that in the positive even integer. So we subtracted two, we got a positive number. If you subtract two again, you're gonna get a negative number. And it doesn't make sense to say we have a negative one real zero. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so three or one, and then for the negative real zeros, there were zero sign changes when you plugged in negative x's. They were all negative all the way down. So this is Descartes' rule of science.